Okay, let's continue on with the chapter. We're now going to look at the classified balance sheet. The classified balance sheet just doesn't have just assets all labeled. We have different categories that we need to pay attention to and put these accounts in their proper category. So for assets, we have current assets, that's one category, long-term investments, plant assets, and our intangible assets. Now examples of current assets are those things that are cash or will be converted to cash or sold um, within the next year, okay? So that would include cash, accounts receivable, that's what people owe us, they're gonna pay us within the year, so that would be considered to be a current asset. Inventory, well, we don't wanna hold inventory very long, so that's a current asset because we're hopefully gonna be selling it very soon. Uh, supplies, we'll use those up within the year. And our prepaid expenses, typically those um, are gonna be current assets also because usually we'll use them up within the year. Long-term investments, these are things that will be investments for the long-term, more than a year from now. So notes receivable and other investments, okay? Um, these things we're gonna be holding for the long-term. And then our plant assets would be property, plant equipment, machinery, cars, um, those are our plant assets. Land is also down there. And remember, land is not depreciated. We don't depreciate land, so it's separate. But you'll have all your equipment type accounts, less the accumulated depreciation. Remember, that's a contra asset account, and that's separate from the actual asset. It's gonna have a credit balance, whereas these have debit balances. And lastly, we have our intangible accounts. Those are the legal rights, the, the patents, the trademarks, the copyrights. All of those legal type rights are intangible assets that we're going to uh, track down here in this account, okay? Now let's move on to liabilities. Liabilities are easier, much easier than, account, than um, assets, because assets you can see have several accounts. And sometimes we even have an other for other type, other things that we might have, okay? But liabilities only have two. We've got current liabilities, those things that we owe, that we have to pay off in the next year, that would be current, just like current assets are those things that will be cash or converted to cash or used up within the next year. Current liabilities are those things that we have to pay off within the next year. Long-term liabilities would be those things that uh, we have more than a year from now to pay off. Now, I do want to point this out. This says current portion of long-term liability, okay? Oftentimes, if you've got a mortgage or a note payable, you're making monthly payments. Well, guess what? If you're making monthly payments, part of that will be current, the part that you have to pay next year. So let's say you owe uh, $20,000 to the bank. Well, maybe 2,000 of it is due next year. So even though you owe 20,000, 2,000 would be current, and the other 18,000 would be uh, long-term or non-current, okay? So the current stuff we pay within the year, uh, long-term, we're gonna be paying a year and longer. And then equity, equity, there's no difference. Our equity account stays the same. There's no long-term or current portion. So we can see here that we've got our capital account and whatever the balance is in the capital account. Okay, so that's a classified balance sheet and it just gives us more information to present to uh, outside people, investors, creditors, banks, financial institutions, because they like to see it broken down where our investments, where our assets are, where our liabilities are, how much do we owe currently versus how much long-term financing. So it's really important information that people outside of the company like to see. And so that's why we have this classified balance sheet to give a better picture of our company and where we stand right now.